Now, before you think I'm gonna say all bad things about PlayStation VR 2, let me clarify this. I do not hate it. It's just that I expect a little bit more from the company who makes one of the best gaming consoles. But before we jump into my experience of using PS VR 2, let me show you what you will get when you order one of these. So if you buy PlayStation VR 2 from their own website, you do have two options. You can either get just the PS VR 2 or you can get a bundle with Horizon Call of the Mountain game included. Fun fact, ordering one of these from their own website that is in stock and it's released recently just felt weird. I don't know. I guess we are not used to it. Anyway, so I ordered the Horizon bundle options and when you get the box, you'll get some accessories such as stereo headphones that attaches to your headset. Of course, USB to Type-C cable to charge your controllers, extra ear tips and paperwork. Underneath, you'll get VR headset itself. It has four cameras in front to track your surroundings. Underneath, you get a power button and another functional button that will enable pass-through mode so that you can see what's going on around you. In the back, you get this dial which you can press to stretch your headset so that you can put it on and if you dial clockwise, it gets tighter. There is also this button on the right side which you can press and adjust the distance between lens and your eyes. On the left, if you rotate this dial, it will adjust your IPD settings. On to the controller. Now, I really like the feel of new controllers. They do feel a lot like dual sense controllers in terms of textures, colors and grip. However, I'm not really a fan of this huge ring around it. I'm sure it serves the purpose but I'm kind of struggle to get hold on to it when I'm wearing my headset and I can't see my hands. Especially after using some of the other controllers from headsets like MetaQuest Pro, they're just small and feels easy to hold. Now it does come with the safety strap on so you don't throw away while using them. Setup is pretty simple, just connect your PSVR 2 to your PS5 which is required and follow all the steps along and you'll be good to go. Now let's talk about things I like and things I don't like. Let's start with the things I like. The most exciting thing for me was that it's a PlayStation VR 2 which means now I can utilize all the power my PS5 console has to offer to play all the new virtual reality games. It brings the same experience that you always love playing PS5 into a new generation of gaming. The fact that the colors and textures feel the same as PS5 makes it look all cohesive in my setup. Also had very accurate eye tracking that you can use to control a lot of things in game. It has cinematic mode which means that you can use PSVR 2 to stream your non-VR games as traditional screen but it is huge and gives you a bit more of privacy and immersion. Now let's talk about things that I don't like. First thing that was overall material feels too plasticky and build quality feels like a toy even compared to the other cheap headsets like Metas Quest 2. It is comfortable overall but these front light blockers aren't the best material. Even though it has a lot of power, this is not a standalone and it can be only used with PS5. That cuts a lot of points for me. It comes with OLED panel which creates rich colors and deep contrast but it also shows this dust like layer separation that is very noticeable when you see it through a bright visuals. One of the biggest drawbacks for me was it still has some software or maybe hardware bugs because when I begin playing Horizon in VR, as soon as I reach at the stage when I have to move forward using L2 on left controller and it just doesn't move at all. I thought it could be a low battery issue so I charged them, they are fully charged because I can easily use them in the main menu, everything works fine in everything else. But when I put it in Horizon, this L thing just doesn't work. Now, I don't know what's causing the issue. So if you had the same issue and fixed it, please let me know in the comments down below how to do that. In conclusion, if you're a fan of this upcoming PlayStation VR games, then you can surely get one of these and you won't get disappointed. But if you're someone who is new to VR and you just want to invest in something that is good, reliable and all in one VR headset, then this is not it. You have much better options already out there. One of the best selling VR headset is Meta's Quest 2. It's cheaper, reliable, portable so you can take wherever you want and has a lot of game titles to explore. Matter of fact, if you can just wait a little bit, Meta is working on their upcoming new Quest 3 uh, which might release anytime this year. And it could fall in the similar price range of PSVR 2 but it will offer lots of more things for its value. And the last but not least, if money isn't your problem then definitely check out Meta Quest Pro. And if you want to know more about Meta's Quest Pro, click here. Go ahead, I'll wait.
are you still here? Okay, all right, then see you in the next one. Peace.